Hello fellow Helldivers, reinforcements have finally arrived to push back the automatrons and turbines in Helldivers 2. The last 99 Quasar Cannon is now available as one of the two new support weapons designed to tilt the galactic war in our favour, and by god does this thing bring pure democratic fire to all blessed by it. It is a shoulder mounted anti-tank weapon that fires an energy burst capable of tearing through any armour on the battlefield. It's also pretty much a one-shot kill on all small medium enemies, regardless of where you hit them. So today, we'll go over the pros and cons to it, just so you fully understand what the WMD can really bring to the field. How to get it? You need to be level 18, with 7500 requisition slips to unlock the last 99 Quasar Cannon. Interact with the ship management terminal on your ship destroyer, and scroll down to the engineering base section to find a new support weapon. Now, where to start with something like this? The following stratagem as mentioned is a complete powerhouse in the right hands, and it can do some wonderful damage to the medium armour in game. The last 99 Quasar Cannon is designed to destroy armour simply put, so it does need to be compared against the highly popular EAT-17 to confirm if it's worth it or not. So to start with, the Quasar Cannon does the same amount of damage as the EAT-17, depending on where you hit but with the added advantage of infinite ammo and infinite range. This when compared to the EA team allows the players to use the weapon for the entirety of the game and not need to continuously call one down after another once your main batch is done. Of course, you will need to call it down again if you do die, but of course this is part of the gameplay. It's also the perfect weapon to destroy those streaker nests and spore spears from afar. So if the map is completely clustered with the following obstacles and you don't want to get too close to them, then this weapon will pivot around that e issue quite easily. Now on screen you can see what the Quasar Cannon is capable of doing against certain enemy types. And except for the one shot via the hit head, the funnel works the same as the way the EAT would work. A bug shows that unless you are by a titan, everything bug space is quite easy to take down with one to two hits. Bots are the same, although most of the ones such as the Hulk, tank or cannon tower requires users to aim and destroy the vent system which can be highly risky for weapons such as this. Some other things to know as well is that it can destroy automatron fabricators but does need to be shot into the vents. It can destroy bug nest holes, illegal broadcast towers and cache doors and can destroy dropships via the engine. So pretty much the weapon can be used for other things when required to. With that being said, the Quasar Cannon starts to lose sustainability in higher difficulty missions when you face a lot of heavy armoured enemies. The main issue with using the weapon is that although powerful enough to land a brutal hit on enemies, just like laser weapons, it will overheat and require cooldown. Now depending on where you fire the weapon, you can use the 10 second cooldown to your advantage by helping your teammates from afar and sniping key targets out from a distance. However, if by chance multiple enemies start to approach you, then this does become an issue since the weapon does need time to fully charge. This is where it does become a big issue on higher difficulties, as say if multiple charges and battle times come charging at you, you only have enough shots to take out one of the two before it needs to charge again. Compare this to the EAT-17 rocket launchers that you get two shots with and can replenish your stocks every minute you can always expect to have an EAT-17 when needed. You can even call it in twice during the same fight and have them available to use at the moment's notice. That, however, is not possible with the Quasar Cannon as it has a significantly longer cooldown than the EAT and if you die on the other side of the map and you get spawned back in, you have no chance of recovering what's lost if things do go to hell. It also means you won't have any medium armor weapons to quickly take out the bigger threats since you either need to rely on your stratagems or your teammates instead until you get the chance to call it back in. So in summary, the last 99 Quasar Cannon has its place in Helldivers 2. The Quasar is not a weapon you want pitted against multiple charges of Bio Titans for example, but if you want a hard hitting weapon that can cover multiple angles at once and also be useful with quickly dispatching enemies, then the Quasar is going to be best for this. The EAT is much faster, gives excellent mobility, and has a reactionary gameplay style that remains unmatched, and with this alone it does have a better advantage with dealing with multiple enemies at once. The cannon can still work on higher difficulty missions, but only as long as you have your teammates to peel enemies off you. That aspect makes the weapon in terms of balance, its infinite energy, 
and easily use a perfect match for those who know how to use the weapon and when best to maximize your effort with disabling larger scale threats. So, should you get the weapon? Yeah, give it a try. It's pretty good. If you enjoyed today's video and want more in the future, be sure to subscribe and comment just so I can hear your thoughts. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.